Hello again, welcome back everyone. Looker Hound here with you. Thank you for joining me once again for another spirit review video. And today we're going to be doing almost a part two or an update to a video review I shot a while back on the Dos Maderas rums. Now back then I dozed and taste the 5 plus 3 and the 5 plus 5 for you. Both tremendous rums, great, great values, running around $30 to $45 somewhere in there. Uh, but two different styles, okay? This one, the 5 plus 3, it does lean more on the Caribbean rum style. You know, your typical rum characters coming through with just a splash of a sherry influence to it. To whereas the 5 plus 5, this one's being aged an additional two years beyond that one in Pedro Jimenez sherry casks, specifically the Don Guido 20-year-old sherry casks. Uh, so that gets a richer, silkier influence uh, to this rum. I remember it having a lot of, you know, ra uh, raisins and dates and plums and figs, and then it's chocolatey. It was, it's, it's very, very oily for a $45 rum. Tremendous. But it is, again, sweet style. So think Zacapa, Zaya, those type of style rums. That's more what this is in line with. Now, the new one, the Dos Maderas Luxus uh, Doble Crianza, is their big brother. This is the ultra premium rum coming from the Williams and Humbert Bodegas, and it's an amazing rum. Uh, what makes it special is, first of all, it starts out with an older base, twice as old as either of these two. Uh, these start with five-year-old Caribbean rum from, again, Guiana, Barbados. This is a 10-year-old rum from the same area, okay? They take that rum, ship it to Spain. It goes directly into the Don Guido sherry casks. So it, do, it does not spend any time in the Dos Cortados sherry that this one does. This is five-year-old rum, three years in Dos Cortados, then bottled. Now some of that goes into the Don Guido sherry for two years. This 10-year-old rum never sees Dos Cortados. It goes straight into the PX sherry casks. So you would imagine, and I would have thought, that it was going to be really sweet, really syrupy, you know, because this only spent two years in those casks. This is spending five and yet, it's not. It's perfectly balanced because of that 10-year-old rum influence. So, apparently that 5-year-old rum, it gets influenced very fast from that sherry, rich, rich sherry cask. To whereas the 10-year-old Caribbean rum, it takes a little longer. Uh, and it never quite gets that um, heavily influenced. But let's go ahead and get to that nosing and tasting, and I'll tell you about it as I go along. Now... The Luxus, there's, I don't know if I mentioned it, there's about 5,000 bottles created a year, so it is a limited edition product. I have not seen it in the States, uh, but you can acquire them from overseas online retailers, like uh, maybe the Whiskey Exchange probably has some. And so if you're willing to spend about $100 to $150 on an ultra premium rum, uh, I think this would be a great buy, okay? On the nose. Caramel, brown sugar, molasses. There is cinnamon, clove, sweet raisins, dates, figs, maybe even a little plum in here as well. Orange peel, a fair amount of orange peel. There's almost some red berries in here as well. There's almost like a little bit of a cherry influence in here. But it's mixed so in well with the, the heavy caramel and uh, brown sugar and molasses up front. You know, a wisp of smoke in there. And almost like a toasted marshmallow. Mm, beautiful nose. All right, let's get to the tasting. So, so silky and soft on the palate as it enters. And then you get like this, not a swell of heat. Um, it is a little warming, and that's that 10-year-old Caribbean rum. But that 20-year-old Don Guido Sherry has had such a positive influence on that rum that it makes it feel so refined. And you get that orange peel essence that I was getting on the nose is definitely coming through on the palate. On the back end, on the finish, I'm getting a little old leather. It's beautiful. 
So let's see if we can put it all in line here. Caramel brown sugar. The orange peel comes in. That clove and cinnamon kind of swelling on that mid palate. That's where you're starting to get, get a lot of really rich, sweet figs, sweet raisins, perhaps little dates in there. Still that little bit of cherry influence maybe in there as well, almost like a cherry wood aspect. On that back end, on the finish, that's when you start getting, everything's still lingering. It's not like it's, uh, anything's falling out. It's, it's, they're all still there and they're all going into the finish. You are getting a little bit of that wisp of what seems like a, almost like barrel char, but I think it's actually, again, that Caribbean rum, uh, because Guiana, and rum, uh, Guiana rums actually tend to sometimes be a little smoky, and I think that's what I'm picking up here on the palate. Some oak, but again, it's not over oak by any means. It's not tannic or dry. It's, to me, I think this one is very oily, but not as sweet as this one, which is strange. It's five years in Don Guilo Sherry. This is only two. But I imagine that comes from the, the master blender and how he was very careful to blend this one not to be that sweet perfectly balanced and rich and a long finish uh, like I said right now on the market there's not too many out there that I would uh, rush to go buy uh, but this would be one uh, it's astounding at hundred to hundred fifty dollars I think they probably could have charged a little more but I'm glad they didn't uh, so again if you can find this one or if it comes to the States keep your eyes out I uh, hope you enjoyed this video review everybody have a great evening and cheers